What's up guys, Tommy from EC Vibes here. The V12 just had another leak, the complete user manual. This thing looks sick. Let's check it out together. V12, built for the ultimate city riding experience. Max speed, 70 km. That's actually 44 miles per hour in America. Battery capacity, 1750 watt hours. It has an auto headlight, which we're all pretty much used to at this time. The power motor is 2500 watts. Waterproof rating IPX5. That's a great rating. Output voltage 100.8. Woo, you hear that guy way? 100.8. Out of here with your 100.0s. App free multifunctional touchscreen. All you need is embedded in this magical display. That's great because I'm actually going to have to sell all my iPhones just to purchase this wheel. You know what I'm saying? I'm running out of money. These wheels are getting expensive, bruh. But look at these options. Oh, man. You could do so much within this little touch screen right here. I think that's a great idea. I see other wheels starting to incorporate this. You really don't need like a third party phone just to control your wheel, you know? Wow, that power button on the left looks pretty sick too. Man, can't wait to touch it. Anti theft digital lock. The motor will be disengaged before you put in the right password. That's another creative very smart thing to do like we have a lock on our iphones we have a lock on our samsung's we need a lock on our EUCs. like the lock that i use currently is just knowing that not a lot of people know how to ride these things so i'll straight up leave it on because if they try to pick it up it might spin on them you know they can't really ride it i'll leave it on and just leave it outside of a deli but i like this a lot better because more and more people are starting to ride EUCs. And I don't want to see one of y'all running away with my EUC while I'm trying to get a bacon, egg, and cheese. Because that would just ruin my day. You know what I mean? Woo! Two-level visual alarm. The new alarm system will give you two color options. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you could take a quick glance at your screen to see, all right, how fast am I going? Boom. I'm going orange. All right, that's probably 30. Whew. I'm in the red now, 50. I'm in the white, 20. I got to go faster. It's not all about the beats. You got the visuals. The ultimate city riding experience. The other end of a perfect electric unicycle is not the fastest one, but the one that gives you more control and safety. Wow. You heard that guy way? 12 watt auto headlight with the built in light sensor enables the headlight. That's in proper English. 12 watt auto headlight, built in light sensor enables that the headlight can be turned on and off automatically. You're missing the that. You're missing the that. Let's go. Ambient red, green, blue light. The RGB light side lights can give you the maximum happiness of choosing your own light pattern. Yes. That looks pretty sick. And I'm all about maximum happiness and good vibes. Redesign controller. The base is almost two times the size of the InMotion V11s, which can secure your safety by a superior control and algorithm. Look at the algorithm, bruh. Do you see the algorithm in there, bro? So many algorithms. Mm. V11, no algorithm. <laughs> V12, algorithmic. You know what I mean? You need the algorithm, bro. It's all about the algorithm. That's what I do when I ride. I'm like, what's the algorithm look like, though? Adjustable pedals to keep you safe at off-road riding. The world's first electric unicycle that can adjust the height of the pedals. Lower setting for the city riding, higher setting for off-road riding. Now that's great to avoid pedal scrape. Although I think the KS King Song S18 was actually the first, you know, adjustable pedal wheel on the market. But I ain't mad at you, Emotion. I ain't mad at you. That's kind of them throwing shade. King Song who? What? S18 who? Smart and innovative BMS. Three built-in BMS dominates the management of the two batteries embedded to the InMotion app. All error messages will be stored and displayed on the app. Wow. What we have here is an example of what a Godway looks like after a curb hot fail. It's beautiful. Faster and more durable. The charging system has evolved to a new level, which is equipped with type A, type C, and a five pin charging port. Whoo, kid. I like that. I like it. I like it. Wider tire for a wild riding style. I think that meant to write wider. See 
ST 1488 16-inch with a 3-inch wide tire on V12 is selected among a large sum of tested models, which can give you more control. That's a nice wide tire. It's going to feel awesome. Responsive spin kill button. Disengage the motor when you need. We're all used to that, and that's going to be awesome as well. Stand at where you need it to. A built-in stand will get rid of anxiety that the wheel might get scratched putting down the wheel. This is awesome. This is one thing on the V11 that I always liked, so I'm glad that they brought it over to the V12. Integrated and compact trolley handle. Locked in a secured place. The handle will not bring you more troubles while cruising. Hmm. With the kickstand might. This is pretty sick. This actually look this actually looks like uh handles that I've seen, like aftermarket handles that they've put on gotways and other wheels from third party sellers. Looks like in motion kinda. Said, so, hmm, that's a good idea. We're gonna do it. Stereophonic sound Bluetooth speaker array. Four loudspeakers spread at the front and rear body can give you an immersive stereophonic experience. Here's two right here, and I believe there's two more in the rear. It looks pretty sick. Just to be clear, I don't know what it sounds like because I cannot hear. You know what I'm saying? And these are the product parameters. Model V12, blah, blah, blah. We all know this. But I'll just leave it up so you can take a screenshot of that. For your new V12 that's on the way, hopefully, if you're going to pay. Because you got to pay if you want to play. Boom. Check it out. New photos. New photos. Got the Charlie handle up. These are real world photos. I'm going to stop rhyming. <laughs> I think it looks sick, though. Look at that three-inch tire right there. Adjustable pedals. <sighs> Man. This wheel is unlike any other, for real. Touchscreen display. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching the video. I just wanted to go over this awesome user manual that I found. It's always exciting finding new things about the B12. I really can't wait for this wheel to come out. So, you know, I'm going to be one of the first to have it for sure. So subscribe to my channel, like, comment, do all that good stuff. And be sure to check out the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh, one more thing. Are you going to get the V12? What do you think of the V12? Put it in the comments down below. Peace.